What's going on utensils? It's I am Spoon, and today I'm going to walk you through a tutorial on how I set up my uh, HD PVR settings and also how I render in Sony Vegas. Uh, a few people ask how I do my settings and, and what certain things I use, so I figure, you know, might as well show you guys what I do. It's not too advanced, uh, not too complicated, so don't expect anything fancy. Um, but, but what I'm going to first do is I go to my Xbox menu and I go all the way over to my system settings. Uh, what you do from there is you go to your console settings. And after you click your console settings, you want to go to display and your HDTV settings. And you want to make sure that's on 720p. Uh, now 10, uh, 1080i and 1080p, those are all well and good. And you can use those, but I have trouble when I record outside of 720p. I'm not sure why that is. The video gets all choppy and very confusing and hard to follow. Um, secondly, what you want to make sure you do is uh, actually in your capture module, and I'll pull the video up real quick for you guys so you can see the, uh, the capture module here. Let me go ahead and full screen it. All right. And uh, what you want to do is you want to make sure you have the capture module pulled up. You'll see I have Red Dead Redemption started here. Um, you want to make sure for your video input you have YPRPB. Uh, now, component uh, or excuse me, a uh, composite video. I've tried doing that and it doesn't work out. So this is definitely the one you want to be using here. Not exactly sure what the other two are used for. What makes them so different? I imagine those are different uh, video plugins like S Video. There's like a certain cable for that. Um, but most people use the component cables, and that's that's what you see here. Um, your source, you want to make sure HD PVR Hapage is what you're going to be using. Um, if you're not using an HD PVR, obviously these settings wouldn't exactly work for you. Now the, the Sony Vegas settings are going to be the same all around. It doesn't matter what you're using there. But if you're using an HD PVR or you want to, this is what you need to have selected. Um, RCA back and RCA front, once again, you just kind of match up your audio and video input to what you have plugged into your television. Uh, PC audio mode, um, Two channel stereo and one channel stereo or one channel. I'm not exactly sure what the difference in these two do. Um, I don't really think it makes a difference for recording. I think this is just for PC audio. Um, sometimes you get a playback, so I think it may have to do with that. Uh, now we're going to check out our device settings. Um, for this, I would really leave it as default. Uh, you really don't have to mess with anything here the, the saturation, the contrast, the brightness. Um, for all that, you want to leave it defaulted. And uh, you really want to mess with the, the contrast and the saturation and brightness in Sony Vegas or whatever you're using to render. Uh, you really don't want to mess with that on HD PVR settings at all because the capture module it just really it's, it's better off when you're recording default. Um, now this is the, also the thing you want to look at, the format settings. This is what, what you want to look at and make sure is all correct. Um, first of all, you want to make sure your source resolution is on 1280 by 720. Um, as, as I said earlier, you can do 1080p. Um, but I did a Red Dead Redemption video in 1080p, and the render time was redonkulous. Um, so for, for those of you who have been asking me, hey, I'm trying to render like a 10-minute video, and it's taking, you know, hours at a time to do so. Uh, one guy told me yesterday he was rendering, and it took him 55 minutes to render like a 5-minute video. Uh, the reason why that is most likely is because your source resolution is not... 1280 by 720 you're, you're doing 1080p and that's that's upping your quality a whole bunch but I mean you can do that but if you're wanting to upload and take hours to upload and hours to render then that's what you need to do it as otherwise just keep it you know 720 you're gonna get just as good for YouTube everybody else does 720 and, and unless you're gonna put it in 1080p um, there's no reason to record it in that much um, I did actually up the quality bitrate to 11.7. I don't know why, that's just a good number for me. 117, January 17th is my birthday, and so 117 is like a number I'm like addicted to, so I'm kind of OCD about it. Um, but your default is like on 10, so upping it a tiny bit is not a big deal. Um, you can change your bitrate depending on, but I, I just leave it constant because that's really the best way to do it. You shouldn't have to worry about it downgrading your bitrate for the most part. Uh, so that's the format settings. You want to have it selected to Xbox 360. Um, PlayStation 3, you can do that if you're recording PlayStation 3, but it really doesn't matter as far as I've seen. Um, I actually just record everything in Xbox 360, and I think it pretty much does everything the same way. Uh, so I'm going to go and exit out of this now, and I'm going to bring up my uh, Sony Vegas. And you'll see here when I bring it up, this is what it looks like for me. Yours may be different. Um, it actually may have a different kind of setting when you open it up defaulted. I'm not sure how to change that, uh, but this is what mine looks like. Uh, I want to make sure I'm still recording, though. Yeah, I am. All right, so you go to File, 
you go down to properties and this is before you start bathing uh, full resolution rendering quality you want to go ahead and switch that to best just because you want the best uh, best possible quality you can get um, these selections may be different depending on which version of Sony Vegas you're using what I do is HD V720 30p and you'll see right there you have the quality settings matching your format on the HD PVR which is 1280 by 720 and 29.9 frames per second as I said you can go all the way down to HD 1080p if you're wanting to do 1080p um, it's not necessary or I guess you could use kind of be either one of these but I really don't mess with 1080p for the most part I've done a few videos like that but it's really not necessary uh, you want to go and apply it and you'll see that the video up here this little box has stretched to a widescreen format uh, so let's go and uh, open up a video uh, mine are actually stored in videos which most defaults are uh, I actually have one from yesterday recorded I'll go ahead and just put this one in here just for testing purposes it really doesn't matter for those of you that are new to Sony Vegas your basic uh, commands are the S key will split your uh, video obviously edit undo or this edit uh, undo and redo are the same way control Z uh, and then control what is it uh, I can't remember and I have to actually press the button oops let's not do that <laughs> Don't want to do that for the most part, but uh, Control Z will undo whatever you did last, and then I think it's uh, Control Y will redo. Yeah, that's it. Control Y will undo your undo. Anyway, uh, this is not a Sony Vegas tutorial, so it's a rendered tutorial, so I'm going to stop there. Um, you'll see that whenever you record with your HD PVR, a lot of times you'll have a tiny black bar along the side here. Uh, you can really see it if I zoom in, which I'm not really going to work on doing. Um, but uh, what you want to do here is I'll kind of leave these two so you can see the black bar along the side you just drag and you drag it over to where you don't see a black bar anymore and we got a little bit more here and oops I drug it a little too far that was my fault okay I still have a black bar black bar there for some reason I'm trying to get rid of it let's drag this down a little bit and see if it helps it there we go okay so I just need to drag this down a tiny bit as well because it's trying to keep that full uh, full resolution there oops drag it a little too far so as you see I'm not a pro with this either so please don't <laughs> don't use this for anything other than um, you know the, the default kind of stuff uh, the next thing you want to do for the render settings is you want to click the properties uh, you want to right click your video click properties there's two things you want to uncheck maintain aspect ratio and disable resample I probably should have done this before uh, I did the whole pan crop thingy but I didn't so deal with it and you'll see uh, the video really doesn't look too fancy right now it's just once again a really short clip I recorded just for this testing purposes uh, for those of you who want to add some kind of contrast to make it look prettier uh, just open up your uh, you click this little button right here or you can right click and click video event effects and what I normally do is just go over here especially for like let's plays I just go over here to Sony soft contrast and you'll see me add this and when I do it and click OK and actually does the soft contrast for him. You'll see it load there. Um, so it actually adjusts the contrast for you. You can you can actually uh, adjust it here if you want to. Uh, sometimes you can do this and it'll actually increase the brightness. So you can kind of play around with that. Of course, you have other options um, like, oops, excuse me, wrong button. You have other options like. There we go. You have color corrector. You have color curves. And for those of you that are doing uh, stuff like Model Warfare 2 and Black Ops, you can do Sony Sharpen and get the text to look a little clearer as well. Uh, but we won't worry about this for now. This is mainly what you guys want to learn as you look through tutorials. Um, so let's pretend this is what we want to use here. Uh, let's go ahead and do a nice little fade in, fade out. And you can do that by clicking the corners up here. You'll see when I drag my mouse over, it turns into a fade offset. Uh, you can do that as far as you want. You can do the same with the audio. Let's pretend I don't want any audio or anything here. I just want a video clip here. And you can do whatever you want with that. Uh, what you're going to do now is you're going to go to File. Well, technically, let's go, in, let's go ahead and do the advanced stuff here. You want to make sure, and this is what I run into. If I just do, if I do a regular video, it actually cuts off the fade out a little bit. So let's go ahead and drag this little bar. 
you can get this by double clicking uh, or you can actually just you'll see the little yellow bars and it's loop region you can drag it all the way to the very end and then drag it like a second after the the clip is over the reason why I do this is so it'll actually have a second after the video ends so you get the full fade out when you render it uh, what you're gonna do is file render as and here's where it gets tricky guys um, my template I have is uh, this one right here and once again you want to match up everything to the same so if you're doing 1080 you can do so um, but you want to do 6MP or MBPS HD 720 30p and simple as that you don't have to do any kind of crazy custom template uh, you do Windows Media Video and if you want to do a custom template you can but really guys I don't you don't really have to mess with this too much you can change it here if you want to um, but I really just don't even don't even mess with all this stuff right here just because it becomes a pain in the ass and so I mean you can look up tutorials for advanced stuff but all my tutorials are for the very very basic uh, you can rename it something like uh, Red Dead Redemption Test Pickles. Anyway, you get you get the idea. And then you save it. And then you'll see here it's clearly loading a lot faster than... Of course, we did add some uh, contrast to it. Um, some Sony Soft Contrast, so it's going to take a little bit longer. Um, but this is a 10 second clip. And it's going to take just over a minute to, to render. Not even going to mess with it too much further than that. I'm going to cancel it out. So there you go, guys. Um, you have my HDPVR settings and you have my render settings for Sony Vegas. Um, as I said before, you don't want to do anything too advanced. This is mainly just the very basic tutorials. You can really look through and uh, change your, your render settings to a custom if you want to, but I wouldn't suggest that just because it gets really complicated uh, very quickly. But if you want to record 1080p, do so. Um, but you can expect some choppy video. You can expect some really long render settings. Um, for those of you that are having really long rendering problems, might want to check your video settings on your Xbox. Make sure it's set at 720p so your HD PVR is not recording uh, in 1080p just because it's going to take a really long time to record some high uh, high quality stuff. Also, uh, if your computer is kind of older, you might want to go through uh, get rid of some memory. You want to make sure that your computer has plenty of space for this kind of rendering stuff because the more uh, the more computer usage you have taken up, the longer it's going to take. Um, so that's just some basic tips for you guys. Hopefully it helps you guys out if, you, uh, if you're if you having any kind of issues with Sony Vegas uh, or anything of that type. Don't expect any kind of advanced After Effects tutorials other than the, you know, the basics just because I'm really not that great at it. But I appreciate you guys watching and hopefully this will help you out. And I'll spoon you guys later.